In this video, we are going to have a look at how to block access to Windows registry in a Windows 11 machine using Intune. If this topic of, is of any interest to you, please consider subscribing to the channel. Feel free to comment below and if you have any questions around the topic or if you have a topic in mind that you would like me to cover here. Now to set the scene, I have a Windows 11 machine over here which is Entra ID joined and is also enrolled into Intune. We have installed Google Chrome application using Intune onto this machine. This was covered in one of my previous videos. I'll put a link to that video in the description if it is of any interest to you so that you can watch that uh, and see how we can install Google Chrome onto a Windows 11 machine which is enrolled into Intune. Now, the topic that we are covering over here is how to block access to the registry using Intune on the same machine. Now, let's just check whether we have access to the registry in the first place. So, reg edit. As you can see, the user has access uh, to the registry on this particular machine and we want to block it by using Intune. So, let's flip back to the Intune portal by going into intune.microsoft.com. So, that's our Intune portal. You could also get to it by going into endpoint.microsoft.com. It gets redirected over here to Intune uh, portal that we have. Now, in order to configure policies, um, like group policies that we have in the Windows world in the Active Directory. What we need over here in the Intune side is a device configuration profile. That's where we kind of set the settings that we need, which needs to be pushed down onto the Windows 11 machine that we are trying to manage. So in order to do that, let's go into Devices and let's go into Windows, uh, either by using the left-hand menu over here or the one that you have in the middle. So let's just click on that. As you can see, we have one machine that is enrolled into Intune, Cloudific-PC, which is this particular machine over here. Just to double check, let me just get the host name for you. Command prompt and host name. So Cloudific-PC, as you can see. So this is the machine that we have in the portal. And we would like the Windows registry access to be blocked by using a policy. So for that, we need to go into Configuration Profiles, the one over here on the left-hand side. Click on Configuration Profiles. At the moment, we don't have any profiles being created or any policies or settings that we are trying to push down to the machine. So let's go ahead and create one and say New Policy. Now let's pick the platform as Windows 10 and later because it's a Windows 11 machine that we are dealing with. And let's select the profile type as Settings Catalog. So this one gives you a list of all the settings that we can have within Intune using the portal. You could also have the option of templates in which things are templated for you depending upon the type or category of settings that you want to have. But it's uh, recommended to have settings catalog in the first place if you can find a setting over there. Uh, failing that, you could go with the templates. So let's just select settings catalog and click on the create button. Let's wait for the page to load. Let's give it a meaningful name. Let's say block access to Windows registry. I have seen um, professionals putting in descriptions like block access to Windows registry using Intune. I mean, using Intune part is kind of a redundant um, phrase over here because we are in the Intune portal. We, we kind of know that we are trying to manage the machine using Intune. But Anyway, give it a meaningful name that makes sense to you. So for me, block access to Windows registry makes sense. Um, you could have a description over here, maybe expand a bit on it so that it's easier for other people to understand, uh, maybe for level one, level two guys. Let's just click on the next button. So here we have a settings catalog. We need to click on add settings to bring up the entire catalog so that we can pick and choose what we need. So let's click on it. And you get the menu on the left-hand side. So you get a lot of settings that you can pick and choose. Um, anything from, you know, all the applications that we have from Microsoft onto the settings on Google and experience and device logs and data protection, Defender. So it's a bit of a tedious task to kind of figure out as to what setting we need by going through the settings one by one. So let's just search for the setting. Let's just say registry because that's what we are trying to find. So it brings up all the settings that is pertaining to the one that you have searched for. So the one that we need is within administrative template system because you know registry is um, a system setting. So let's click on that one. 
wait for it to come back. So we have two settings over here, prevent access to registry editing tools. So that's the one that we need. It's kind of self-explanatory as, as to what it is trying to achieve. So you need to select this particular setting by us using the checkbox over here. And on the left-hand side, it brings up the setting that we can toggle back and forth. So whether it is disabled or enabled. So you need to select it on the right-hand side and you get the setting on the left-hand side. So it says prevent access to registry editing tools. Currently it is disabled, which means you know users can access registry. So let's flip it and say we want it to be enabled. So disable registry uh, from running silently, that is yes, we don't want it to be done. And prevent access to registry editing tools, that is enabled, which means we are preventing it. So with these two settings, let's click on next. This is all what we need to prevent access to registry. Now we have the scope tags option. If you are into uh, tagging, then you can select the scopes that you need scope tags, but it's an optional field. So let's click on next. Assignments. So this is where we specify to which devices or users we want this particular setting to be applied. So we can either select add all users, which gets applied to all the users, irrespective of the machine that they use, or you can say all devices, pretty much the same effect over here, or you can have a group and select or kind of control as to how the setting is pushed out into your organization. This is especially useful if you're new into Intune and you want to try out the settings before you kind of roll it down to the entire population. So you could have a group within M365 and just put the users into it, maybe just the IT guys, get a feel for how the setting behaves. And if you're happy with it, you can come back to the same setting and then change it from all, I mean, change it from the groups into all users or all devices. So here I have a group that I have defined. If you go in over here, I have a group that says Intune POC and I have a few members in it. So let's just have a quick look in it. So the members are uh, our friends, colleagues. Um, let's just see the friends. So as, I, as you all know, I'm a big fan of the Friends uh, series back in the 1990s. So we have Chandler Ping, we have Joy Tribbiani and Ross Geller. So these are the three uh, users that we have in the group. So we are applying this particular policy to that particular group. So I'm selecting the Intune POC group over here and click on select. So it says over here, Intune POC, that's a group that has been picked up. It, it has three users in it. So the group members are three users and zero devices. So that's pretty clear. And let's click on next. And now it gives you a summary of what we are trying to do. So the name of the profile that we are trying to configure is block access to Windows registry. The setting will be applied to Windows 10 and later machines. And these are the two settings that we are trying to uh, apply. Disable registry, yes, and prevent access enabled. And we are applying the setting to the Intune POC group, which has three users in it. It looks good. Let's click on create. The policy takes a few seconds to create. As you can see in the toss on the top, top right hand side, it says it has been created. Let's click on the refresh button to bring that policy in the listing. Let's just wait for it to come back. So there it is, Win block access to Windows registry, Windows 10 and later. It's a settings catalog. It has been assigned to one particular group. So now let's just go back and refresh the machine. So there are two ways by which you can do that. Either you can wait for the machine to check into Intune periodically and get the policy or get the profile setting that we have configured over here, or you can force the setting. So it's similar to the a GP update slash force that we are used to into the uh, in the Active Directory world uh, to kind of refresh the policy on the machine. So you can do it in two ways. Either you can push the settings uh, from the Intune portal. For that, we go into the Windows devices, find the device that we want the policy on, click on it, and you get an option to sync the data, sync the profiles and the settings. So you click on that one, and it says Intune will attempt to check in with this device. If it is successful, it will sync current actions and policies to the device. Would you like to continue? Yes, that is what I want to do. So the sync gets initiated from the Intune portal. The same can be done from the machine itself by the end user. So you go into the settings. Within the Windows 11 machine, you click on accounts. You go into access work or school. You expand the Entra ID and management option, click on info. And over here you have the sync button. So you click on the sync and this kind of attempts to sync the policies and the 
profile configurations and any other settings that you have in the Intune uh, platform back into the device. So this is initiating from the device. The other one is initiating from the portal. So you're just doing both just to speed it up. So we'll wait for the sync to complete and I'll come back once that is done. As you can see, the sync has been completed. So it says last um, sync was successful and the date and time. So now let's just check whether we now have access to the Windows registry on this particular machine. So let's just go back, click on the Run tab. Let's click on Regedit. OK. Registry editing has been disabled by your administrator. This is exactly what we want. So the registry access has been disabled using Intune on the Intune enrolled Android ID joined Windows 11 machine. If you found this video informative, check out my other videos in the channel. Please do consider subscribing to the channel as I upload videos on a daily basis around Microsoft 365, Azure, Windows, PowerShell and general IT stuff. Thank you.